Holy shit, bro. I'm fucking cooked right now, bro. I'm cooked to the maximum right now, bro. It's like 10 a.m. I don't know even know what time it is, bro, but yesterday, we bred some of the e-com kids out here. We went to um, like a college bar yesterday. That shit was disgusting, bro. Now I feel like shit, my head's hurting. Not fun, bro. I don't know how people do that college shit, bro. That shit is different, bro. Everyone's just sweating on each other. And it's just a cesspool of bops, bro. So that shit's crazy, bro. But, bro, I have my, my room is still fucking cooked, bro. Like, I haven't even put the TV on the wall or anything. Um, but, yeah, bro, I mean, I wanted to do a little vlog type today. Um, we were thinking about someone commented on my last video collab with BSM Fredo where I was actually with him yesterday but we wanted to do like a little mini vlog and then maybe like a mini podcast at the end so I think I might link up with him and some of the the e-com guys later if you guys don't know who that is he's a um, he's a drop shipper he's an organic goat bro bro can make anything go viral he's he's goaded so uh we might we might link up later I guess we have somewhat of an overlapping audience which is pretty cool so uh we're gonna link up with him later but as of right now, bro, I got to get back to work. We've been fucking off so much the past the past day, past few days. Honestly, since I moved in, I haven't got that much work done. So I need to lock back in. I'm about to hop on a call with um, uh, one of the guys I'm training to run up some of my clients. So hopefully we'll get that, that ball, ball rolling because I have like a bunch of creators that come to me, but I don't have time, bro, to work with them. So I'm trying to train some people. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um... I'm actually learning how to run some Facebook ads as well. Roommate Brez, he's a Facebook ads goat. He uh, he literally makes a living off that shit. Teaching me how to run some ads. I'm actually running ads for one of his clients right now. Uh, so I'm learning how to do that. It's actually pretty fun and pretty simple at first at least. I haven't gone to the part, the, the part of it where you're scaling it shit. So I know it gets more complicated there. But uh, if you guys don't know, with growth operating, bro, you got to um, eventually, bro, if you get a creator... And you guys, you'll get to a point where you max out your organic reach. Like, you can't really sell any more people into the community unless they're constantly going viral, you know what I'm saying, and getting new people. So, at some point, you have to start scaling with paid ads. So, it's, I think it's a really important skill to learn. And that's what I'm working on right now, learning paid ads, training some people. Um, and, yeah, bro. So, I need to get back to work. I'm not really doing anything interesting right now. Just hopping on some calls and shit like that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to pick back up the camera when I do something interesting. Maybe link with the guys later. Something like that, I don't know, but I'll catch you boys. Bro, I don't even give a fuck. Everyone knows what community I run, but this is the community I run, basically. Uh, this is the school games. If you guys don't know, school's hosting their first ever school games. Alex Ramosi, Sam Ovens is hosting it. People who add the new, people with the most new MRR added in February, top 10 of them get flown out to Vegas and win a day and spend a day with Ramosi and film content with him. We're in seventh place right now. We're definitely going to finish top 10. It ends on the 27th. It's the 23rd. So we have four more days, bro. We just got to hang on. I think we'll do, we'll uh, we'll probably stay right here. We'll probably stay in seventh place. But it's crazy, bro. Hamza added 55K this month. This lady, bro, Evelyn Weiss, I don't know who that is, but she's fucking printing 68 bands this month in new MR. This is new MR, by the way. So this is only the MR we've added this month in February. Yeah, bro, I'm about to fly out to Vegas. They fly you out and everything. Spend the day with Alex or Mosey. Should be sick. Uh, I might vlog it too, which would be cool. I mean, hopefully we don't get gapped somehow by these three people. This is a fucking OnlyFans manager right here. He sells an OnlyFans course, bro. It's crazy, bro. There's so many ways to make money. Like, look at all these people just making hella bread, bro. This is new MR. This isn't even total. Like, our MR is almost at 50 grand. This is just what we added this month. So, yeah, bro. Should be cool. BSM Fredo, bro. Is he not? He's not BSM, is he? Are you BSM Jordan or not? You're not BSM. Bro, bro just moved into our building too. So we got another member. <laughs> Bro's not BSM, bro. I just linked with Pierre and Brad. We're about to go try. Hey, shut your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I. Right, bro. bro, we look stupid as fuck right now, bro. We're about to get some food right now. We got Brez marketing. Brez, how many abs did you scale today? <laughs> a lot, bro. Yeah, that's deep in that shit. What's your, what's your roll ass today? <laughs> roll ass today? It's like a fucking. 27. 27? <laughs> what is yours? You got a two? I got a 1.951 order. Bro. He's climbing the leader, bro. I trust, bro. What's good, Aki? Hey, I'm about to get a... Hey, can I get the... Um... You want to be on YouTube or not? What the fuck? 
What's up? You want to be on YouTube? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's uh, what's the store name and where are you located? Uh, Milk and Honey. Milk and Honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. He, this guy cooks the best sandwiches. Right, thank you, thank you. Can I get the um? Sandwich. Go. Yeah, this is the sandwich. Sir. <laughs> Two. Two new clients today? Four Rackies? <laughs> no. <laughs> bro, no, he's a money printer, bro. This dude's dead ass a money printer. This dude got more motion than all of us. Oh, God, bro. Oh, God, he has more motion than all of us. Hey. By the time we get to Miami, we're going to be, like, equal, though. Yeah, no. Nah. I'm, so I'm gapping your ass. I'm gapping your ass. Everybody, here, like, moving together. Like, What's your Shopify looking like today? What's your biggest store? You pull it up. Yeah, if you guys don't know who this is, bro, explain what you do a little bit. Organic dropshipping demon. Right now, we're about to hit a 1K day on this one store. Something like? As you can see, 600 visitors. Usually, a normal conversion rate for organic is 1%. See mine? 5.9%. Oh, right. I can't see it. I basically have an ass at this point. Holy shit. Bro, that's a 6% conversion rate. Bro, I really do this shit. Oh, my Hit your target God. audience. Get your Six, wait, so if there's any, for any for any e com organic bro. for any e com kids listening, bro, what, what would you be like your one piece of advice for them? Join BSN. Yeah, if you do drop shipping, join BSN. If you're not in BSN, you're a loser. Um, sell products that you know how to market. Hit your target audience. Make viral videos, and you'll go up. Store one. One point two four k. Hey, we're about to get clipped out, bro. We're gonna clip that, bro. Store two. Keep in mind, it's only two in the afternoon here. Um, Wait, Brez, For anyone that, for anyone that doesn't know what you do, like, what would you say you do? So, I run ads for for brands, basically e-commerce brands, clothing brands. It's kind of my main niche. But so basically, they bring me all the content and stuff. I put the content in front of people with advertisements. So like paid marketing. It's like the opposite of what he does, because he does organic. Organic demon, paid demon. Paid demon. Yeah. And what are you? <laughs> <laughs> organic, really. Organic demon. No, I'm funnel demon. I'm funnel demon. Funnel demon. Yeah. But organic funnel demon. Yeah, I'm about to start running ads though. Funnel demon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I'm an info product demon. That's what I am. Info product demon. I'm a Hall of Fame course seller, bro. <laughs> bro, I got it. Info I'm a, product I, demon. Bro, I'm a Hall of Fame course seller, bro. Uh, Bag fucking secure, bro. Look at this shit. It's like eight dollars in the bottom of our apartment. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? I'm SK, bro. <laughs> He's gonna see this, bro. He's gonna. We're gonna clip this and tag him on TikTok. Bro. <laughs> SK, bro. He probably knows you. He probably knows you, bros. I'm, cl I'm clipping this and putting it on TikTok. Bro, you, you bro. Know, he bought a new dog and went like this. <laughs> Are you dead ass? Yeah. No. Pull it from the collar. Bro, what the fuck? This is what these guys do, bro. This kid sells fucking weed products and makes more money than your fucking father, bro. This is craziness, This is all bro. I do. I wiggle shit in front of a camera. That's crazy, bro. So How much money have you made today off this product? 1k 1k bro it's only like 2 p.m <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing it's my job bro what are you doing bro <laughs> this is this man's career bro all right then you go like this you're gonna flick off the cap and you twist the straw on You're laughing now, there's about to be like 10 million views on your 40 page. How many views do you have on this product so far? 40 million views on this product. Are you dead ass? Bro, 40 million views, bro. This guy's the fucking organic demon, bro. Holy shit, bro. All right, you do that. Now I'm gonna suck this shit. Pause. What? Bro. All right. Damn, bro. Smart as shit. You're bro. him, bro. That's how you film a TikTok. I want to see the get, final. Yeah, once we edit it, you gotta show. We gotta yeah. show it. I just get like two million views. Two million. How many? Okay, so how much money does two million views bring in? With organic, one million views should be around like one k in revenue. But uh, this product doesn't really convert like that. Like two days ago, I had three million views. I only made six hundred dollars. 
today I got a video with 1.6 million views and I'm at 1k today. I should hit 2k today because it's only like 2 p.m. So it should keep going. I should hit like two bands today. That's crazy. What are the margins on a product like that? Bro, this one's like 70 or 75% margins. That's crazy. So like 2k is what, like 1.2k profit or something. So if you like continue that. this rate, you're making 30 bands this month. Yeah, at least the one weed product. It's really that fucking easy, bro. Like, get good at skills, learn fucking skills, and you can make money infinitely. Bro, there's bro. so much money to be made, bro. Like, it's actually retarded how easy it is to make money. Look at me, I go like this. <laughs> okay, bro, and I make money, bro. So bro, he easy. makes more money than your dad, bro. Dead ass, bro. Yo, bro, let me see your uh, pull up your views. I want to see your views. How many followers does this account have? Look at this, bro. All organically, bro. Thousand followers, all organic. From fucking weed products, bro. 1.8 mil. 1.1 mil. I think this is the video bringing me my sales today. Because it just went viral. 1.1 mil. That's crazy, bro. As you can see, 1.6 mil. 1.7, 1.5. 1.9, 1.7. 1 1.3. Jesus Christ. How many? Okay. How much money has this Instagram page brought in? Bro, the page itself has made me over at least eighty thousand dollars. That's fucking insane. So just bro. with this product, basically what I do is I recycle products. So I have a big Instagram account, and if you do organic dropshipping, if you have a big Instagram account, you can make money the rest of your life. So what I'm gonna do is I run up this product right here. Once it dies out, I'll delete everything, find a new weed product to put on this Instagram, and just repeat the. And cycle. it's the same niche, yeah. Yeah, it's just same people niche. who like weed shit. Yeah. That's fire. So I can only run weed products on this Instagram. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. So it's basically like a fucking theme page, bro. It's literally a theme page. It's literally a weed theme page. Yeah. So it's unlimited money. All I have to do is find a new product, make new videos, and make a new website. My website right here is only for this product right here. It's called the One Product Dropshipping. Scott Hilsey, go. Yeah. As you can see, simple ass website, my own gifts. So all I have to do, let's say, let's say this product stops working, no more money is being made. I'll cut the product, delete everything find a new weed product, start making videos. I can make 1K like the same day I start a new product. That's fucking crazy, bro. Funny. Um, as you guys can see right now, we are, I'm just looking at the school leaderboards, but in the past, I like this because it tracks the past 24 hours. Past 24 hours, we've done $750 on the, the front end offer. And we haven't really posted any content recently or promoted it. So this is pretty good. This is like a pretty consistent thing. We're sitting around 800 to $1,000, $500 to $1,000 average daily on the front end offer um and as you guys can see we've added 22.6k in front end offer um and since february in 23 days so this is on february 1st we did 22 we have done 22.6 thousand dollars um and that's just the front end so we always obviously have the back end as well i'm actually going to go and check up on the community right now go watch this video if you haven't um look at this bro results buddy this is what i'm talking about bro this is what it's all about this dude just did eleven thousand dollars in 30 fucking minutes now this is a sick ass testimonial that we'll use we'll pump that out run some they were thinking about running some ads as well uh maybe use some testimonials like i mean i'm gonna go back and hype this guy up you know check up on you know my dms you know i'm all good here i, I just checked this community but this is the fucking printer community like i'm not even i can't even take too much credit for this community like creators a fucking goat you know what I'm saying? Everyone in this committee is super active, super sick. Yeah, $75 a month, 773 members. You guys do the math on that. That's just the fucking front end, bro. And then we go over here. We're going to look at if we have any more new applications today for the high ticket offer. So if we go down here, uh, I'm a little too far. Nah, no new. No new applications for the high ticket. Need to do some follow ups with these people. Um,. And yeah. Little update, I was chilling on my couch and then I checked my my cash app. We got a little $545 deposit and then we're gonna get the rest tomorrow from the kid. My closer just closed out. We didn't even have any sales calls today. Literally just some pipeline work, some follow-ups and stuff like that. So follow-ups are key, bro. Follow-ups are fucking key. If you're not following up a million times with people from your high ticket offer that leave the sales call without paying anything, get deposits, you know, do what you gotta do. But yeah, I just wanna update you guys. I'll pop up a little screenshot, but uh, got a little deposit and then uh, we're gonna close the rest of that that uh, piff tomorrow, so. All right, so this next clip is gonna be the last clip. It's gonna be a little sit down podcast, I think. Not really podcast, but me and Fredo are just gonna be answering a few questions that we get. You know, everyone always asks us like how we met and shit. It's kind of like a random ass collab, but. 
Uh, y'all should be answering a few questions, but if you guys are growth operators or you want to be a growth operator, follow me on Instagram and DM me and I'll send you a link to my private Telegram channel where I just send voice notes for free and I just drop game all the time. So I literally just spam voice notes all day and I just drop random sauce here and there um, completely for free. But to get access to that Telegram, you have to follow me and DM me on Instagram, Telegram, or just DM me whatever and I'll send you the Telegram link to join. So. I'm trying to get that telegram turned with a whole bunch of sick ass people. Follow me on Instagram, DM me, don't DM me if you don't follow me. I'm not responding to anyone that doesn't follow me. So follow me on Instagram, DM me for the telegram link and I'll send that to you so you can join the private telegram. And then that way I'm gonna be send, sending voice notes all the time. So that shit's fire. All right guys, so this last part of the video, we're just gonna do like a mini Q and A. Got a bunch of DMs about me and Pierre and like how we met and stuff like that and what we do for a living. How about we just start with saying like what we do and stuff. Yeah. So what do you do for a living? Yeah, so I do what is called now growth operator, growth operating. So basically what I do is I team up with creators or people who have large followings and I help them monetize that by creating, um, you know, paid communities, some type of program, some type of consulting, coaching, you know, all these people that sell stuff online they're really just the face of it and there's always someone behind the scenes actually running it you know what i mean so every every single it's impossible like being a content creator is a full-time job within itself literally bro like this shit is so draining so to be able to like actually have a successful program that gets people results and shit like that you have to have someone actually running it setting up the funnels setting up the appointment setters setting up the setters literally managing the whole thing and just making sure everything flows well because like we were talking about this earlier like it's dead ass like a whole ass business yeah like to run a program successfully that's not just a pump and dump like some bullshit yeah. it's a real business bro like straight like that so in order for it to be successful like i said bro i think you just need someone to take care of all the business side of things so um, you said the influencer needs to be like the face of like the marketing funnel and you just handle the back end yeah so the content cre the person that's the face of the the program or the consulting or the coaching whatever you want to call it sh their job should just be to their job should only to be posting content that's it and so they can focus solely on what they're good at is making people engaged with them getting views and driving traffic through my funnels and shit like that so i create all the funnels i set up the sales team um i do all that stuff so the creator can simply just focus on pumping out content all right what i do i do organic drop shipping Pretty sure if you watch this channel, a lot of you guys know what that is already. You know I do it, but if you don't know what that is, basically it's, you heard a drop shipping where people run ads. I do the opposite. I just make TikTok videos and I try to go as viral as possible. It's kind of basically like explosive marketing. So you show products in front of people's face and they kind of have to buy due to like FOMO or perceived value of the product. Um, so yeah, I just get products off Amazon. I send them to my house film TikToks, and I just try to go as viral as possible. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Just normalized drum shipping. A lot of you guys know what that is. Pretty simple business model. And I've managed to blow up a bunch of products and kind of mastered the science of going viral. So yeah, that's basically what I do. Yeah, so I got a question for you. What would you say like the main skills that like over this time period, obviously this shit sounds easy. Like, oh, I'm just gonna post TikToks and Instagram yeah. reels. Like that shit sounds easy. But like, bro, to be actually doing it is some, is different. So, what would you say like the main skills, the main skills you've acquired to be able to consistently make money doing this? I think the first one is just the skill of going viral. A lot of people think going viral is luck, but there's a bunch of people that manage to do it over and over and over again. Like, I think I have a viral video at least every week. I have at least one video touch a mil. Um, that's because I mastered the skill. There's a really good science behind this shit. Like. Nice backgrounds, good lighting on your product, fast paced clips. Um, yeah, it also just depends if your product is intrinsically viral. Like I run weed products and that's because I know how to market weed products because I used to be a stoner. So I know what stoners like to see when they see a weed product. So yeah, just the skill of going viral and probably like, honestly just marketing because at the end of the day we're marketing products. So you need to be able to like figure out who your target audience is, who are you actually selling the product to so you can easily like trigger emotions in them to, to watch your video and then funnel them to your website to buy the product. So I would say going viral and learn marketing is like the main two skills I learned for dropshipping. What would you say the main skills are for growth operating? I mean, I used to do so, like I used to sell my own consulting programs. So I already had some experience selling info products and stuff of that nature. 
it's really just figuring out what funnel works for whoever you're working with. Like, let's say if you wanted to sell some type of mentorship or some shit like that, um, your funnel would look different than, than another dropshippers. Even if you guys do the same thing, it just depends on the creator and what kind of person they are and what kind of audience they have. You have to, it's kind of a skill to be able to figure out what funnel works, just testing shit, um, going with that. And then obviously being able to build and manage like sales teams, appointment setters, and make sure everything goes smoothly and then obviously also have a good product at the same time because if you have a bad product I mean if you have a bad program bad consulting you're gonna get chargebacks like you're gonna deal with so much bullshit you're gonna get called a scammer but the good thing about this is if you actually have a good product you can really change people's fucking lives so I mean that's been it that's about it on my end like you know funnels um, just learning like how to convert people from views to fucking money like you do yeah. um, so yeah what about if somebody's watching this that doesn't do either of these things? What do you think is like something you need to be successful? Okay. Something you need to be successful, like someone starting from the ground up. Yeah. Like if they want to make it and they're like don't know what to do, what does somebody have to do like every day to like just make it? Okay. Um, I think you just gotta pick something and go all in on it. So it doesn't matter what the fuck it is. It could be fucking dropshipping. It could be what I do. It could be fucking sales. It could be anything. If you go all in on something, no matter, pro most likely what you do in the beginning is not what you're gonna end up doing in four years, five years from now. Like everything evolves so naturally. Like for me, it's been, I think it's a little bit different for you. Like you kind of stuck with shopping. I used to trade and shit too. Yeah, like exactly. So if you just start, like you just have to start and go all in on something and things are gonna ev just evolve naturally into what you do now. Like I had, like if you told me a year ago, this is what I'd be doing, I'd be like, what the fuck is that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like what, what, are, like, what do you mean, bro? So. I mean, I started with a, a marketing agency and then it turned into what I'm doing now. Like, you just gotta start and go all in on something and don't get caught caught up being like, oh, what business model is the best right now? Is it oversaturated? Bro, oversaturation does not fucking exist. You just have to be good at what you do, bro. You can be, it's so easy to separate yourself in any business model because 99% of the people trying to do it are fucking idiots. So yeah. if you just get good at what you're doing, you're good, bro. Simple, yeah, same right? thing with dropshipping. You guys have heard dropshipping is the most saturated thing out there. Then how are we winning and other kids make no money? Because there's like a gap in between like the skill levels. People just do this shit and barely try. But if you're a top dog, you will make the most money. But yeah, for that question, I would say the same thing. Like you just need to choose something and just show up every single day. Like when I chose dropshipping, like I set my mind that I'm going to be a dropshipper. And I was working at In-N-Out, wasn't making any money for like four months trying to grind dropshipping. And I just cracked the code and I finally made it happen. So that's only because I stuck to dropshipping. It was focusing on one thing. I used to day trade in the past and like bouncing from business model to business model, but that's not the move. Just choose one thing and just work on it every single day. Like become obsessed, like kind of make it your life if anything. Nah, it 100% has to be your life, bro. If you have anything like, I feel like especially in the beginning, bro, like that first 365 days, bro, yeah, your first bro. year, it has to, you can't do shit else, bro. I don't care what you say. Like, you need to dream about this yes, shit. Yes, bro. Like, I I would, bro, a year ago, this, what we're doing now, bro, like, oh, God. bro, I would, like, bro, I'd be hard thinking about that shit, oh, bro. That shit gets me horny, bro. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> like, it's crazy, bro. We really, like, one year ago today, not today, but like a, a few days ago, one year ago, I was in college, bro. I was literally a freshman in college. I just went into my second semester. I made, like, six grand in a week. I was like, bro, okay, I have a proof of concept. I went all in on this shit. I made some money. I know it's possible, and I fucking dropped out. Didn't tell my parents. Just dropped out, bro. Like, I just I just knew I was going to make it happen, and I made it happen. As simple as that. I just believed in myself. I don't know. It sounds corny, but. Yeah, same with me. Like, a year and a month ago today, I was flipping burgers at In-N-Out, bro. Like, this shit is possible. Just stick to one thing and just, like, literally obsess over it. Like, I would wake up at 3 a.m., thinking about ideas for my dropshipping products, like what video I'm gonna make tomorrow. Like I was tweaking, thinking about this shit. Just become obsessed and like you can really make this shit happen. It's, it's possible. Like we're just normal ass kids. Like look where we're at right now. We're in a fucking penthouse. We're just normal ass kids, bro. I'm from, we're both in California right now. Yeah, but we're just regular ass kids. <clears throat> you talk about like how we met, like. Yeah. So, I mean, how, we met a long ass time ago. It's actually funny because, I mean, I wouldn't say like I started TikTok because of you. But like I definitely saw your TikTok and I was like, oh, I could probably do that shit. Yeah. So he was posting on TikTok. I don't know what you were posting at the time. I was, I was yapping about random was, shit. Yeah, he was yapping. And then I started posting like motivational shit on TikTok, like just, just some bullshit. Like when I look back at it, I'm like, oh my god, like, what was I fucking <laughs> oh posting? God. But like, bro, you just like like we said earlier, bro, you just have to start, bro. Yeah, and look what that fucking TikTok turned into, bro. Oh That's god. Yeah. Every, all the kids I I live with right now, I met on TikTok. 
This kid I met on TikTok. All his friends, they met on TikTok. Yeah. Like, bro, TikTok is the method, bro. If you, personal branding is key. We could get into personal branding another time. Yeah, that's too easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, how do we meet? Oh, yeah, you were just posting TikToks. I was posting TikToks. Did we DM or some shit? Yeah, I feel like one of us, like, DM'd each other. And, like, we just went back and forth, like, every once in a while. We weren't, like, nah. talking hella. Nah, because we didn't even do the same business. So, it wasn't like yeah. we were chopping it up all the time. We were just, like, Every oh. once in a while. We knew about each other, though. Yeah, like we follow each other on Instagram, I think, and then um, maybe send a DM every once in a while. Yeah, nothing crazy, but then like one day, how we meet in AZ? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, that's what happened. So yeah. we, we were going to move into a big ass house in Long Island for whatever reason, and we needed a few other people to fill some of the rooms. And I hit him up because I knew he was moving out. I was like, oh, if you and some of your boys want to move into this crib, they're like, bro, just pull up to AZ, we're moving to AZ. Yeah. And then they talked, Brez and uh, our other roommate Dylan talked, and then they were like, Oh, let's just stay in AZ. They went and looked at this penthouse, signed the lease fucking 30 minutes later. I didn't even see the place, bro. I saw it on fucking FaceTime and I signed the lease. And then I pulled up a week later, bro. I just packed up my car and did, bro. And then now we're all here, bro. And it feels like we've been knowing each other and we met it like fucking two days yeah, ago. Yeah, oh God. It feels like we've been friends for hella long. Yeah. But basically what happened, yeah, like the BSM guys, you guys know I made a vlog about it, but like six of us from BSM like moved to Arizona. Then they moved here. And now we're just like, together it's like we have the fucking avengers in arizona bro, they fucking insane. fuck the atl money glitches oh, like AZ money AZ glitches, bro. Money glitch. not for oh, this year it's up bro we're gonna fucking scale to the moon this year bro <laughs> az money glitch baby <laughs> yes bro literally and we're gonna hit miami next year for sure bro yeah but uh um, it's crazy bro we have a bunch we have a big group of guys that all do i mean you guys are mainly e-com but we all do semi different things yeah we can combine our powers and make fucking a gazillion dollars, bro. So like, we've already been plotting about random ass shit that we can do in the future. It's like there's unlimited opportunities, bro. Like yeah. all of us with our different skill sets, like just fucking mesh together and just make <laughs> unlimited money. It's crazy, bro. It's sick. It's sick as fuck, bro. So, and we've been seeing each other like on the fucking screen, and now we hang out IRL yeah. like every day, bro. It's fucking crazy, bro. What's some like last motivation to leave the people off with? Last motivation to leave the people off with. Uh, Bro, like, I'm just gonna say again, bro, you just gotta start. Like, yeah. I don't know, bro. Maybe, probably most of these people watching have already started business shit because we're kind of niche. Yeah, that's true. So, I would just tell you guys, like, just believe in yourself. Like, this shit is actually possible, bro. Like, when I really think about it, I'm so fucking retarded and I still make money. Like, half of us are just so dumb and we just, like, put in the work that, like, we have to be rewarded for it. Like, yeah. you don't have to be smart. You don't have to be Elon Musk to make money, bro. Like, See how I talk? Like, I'm half retarded and I still make money from the shit, you know? <laughs> nah, yeah, we're all sped as fuck, bro. <laughs> we're all sped as fuck, bro. We all make good money and it's just gonna keep going up, so... I don't know, bro. But yeah, guys, just a little Q&A type thing for the vlog. 